I was hanging out with Fillmore earlier, and the strangest thing happened. Was it a seahorse stampede? You're like psychic or something. Hmm. I think Sluggo saw where I hid the holiday cookies earlier today. But as long as I stay within earshot of where they're making gingerbread houses, I'll be able to hear and intervene if he tries to tell Nancy where they are. How was your day, sweetheart? Well, it started out pretty bad. Then smack, it turned out pretty good. Another thing grown-ups like to tell you is that money don't grow on trees. Which, actually, it don't. It grows in Aunt Louise's butter and egg money jar. I can't sleep. What do you want me to do about it? Start rambling on about your day. You need to start on your homework, Chip. I am. You're watching TV. I have to eliminate all the distractions first. I always tear up at the end of It's a Wonderful Life. Me too. Poor old Mr. Potter never takes over the Bailey savings and loan. You're a banker, aren't you? Look at what Helga left sitting out. A plate? I've got a date tonight, Mr. Cap. Have you got any advice for me? Just be yourself, son. Or failing that, don't be Andy. I'm sorry, sir. We're all out of fortune cookies. Here's a coupon for the palm reader next door. That police car has its Christmas lights on. These are from Leroy's bachelor party. That's why all the faces are pixelated. What about lunch and dinner? You can't quit before we start. Don't make that face. It's Chauncey.